Walid means father. Yawm la yajzi walidun aw waladi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that the day on which the father will not benefit the child, the son. And neither will the child benefit the father. And this is about the day of judgment. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is instructing all of us. You see kum. Allah instructs you. And who are the you? They're not only the Sahaba who were the first people to be addressed by the, the words of Quran. It includes all of us. All of us are the addressees of this address, this message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah instructs you fi awladikum in regards to your children. So the first verse is about the children. So Allah indirectly is teaching us that the closest relationship to a man or to a woman is the relationship of their child. The, the relationship of a child and the son or daughter is even more closer than the relationship that the person has with his father or with his mother. So to, to his mother and father, he will be the closest. But to his children, he will be the closest. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought the children first. Because they are the foremost. And a person always is more worried about his children. How to uh, uh, pay for them, how to, uh, uh, how to provide for them, and how to take care of them. All these things. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recognized this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the case of children before the case of parents. And that shows that children are more important in uh, when it comes to the, the distribution of provision or providing for. So you must provide for your children. Even after you die, the first people who will have their share will be the children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts the entire chapter with this case of children. So in Sharia, there is an entire science which is called the science of inheritance or the law of inheritance. Ilmul Fara'id. Fara'id is the plural of Farida. Normally we understand Farida to be an obligatory action. Like for example, performing Salatul Asr or Salatul Maghrib is a Farida. Every Muslim, every adult Muslim must perform the Salat. Similarly, it is used in in meaning of an obligation. So Farida is also an obligation, but it is also used for shares. So in this regard, ulama normally use it in 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 term of shares. So al faraid, ilm al faraid means the the knowledge of inheritance, the science or the laws of inheritance from where a person learns the shares of each person who deserves any portion in the estate. Ilm al faraid is one of the most important sciences. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said in one hadith, Ta'allamu al faraid wa'allimuhu al nas. Learn the knowledge of inheritance and teach it to people. فَإِنَّهُ نِصْفُ الْعِلْمِ Because it is half of knowledge. So here, Rasulullah compared the knowledge of inheritance with half of knowledge. Imagine today in this world, how many Muslims forget about the scholars. Even among scholars, 
most of them are not fully aware of the details of inheritance, the details of ilm al-fara'id. But let's take the general, uh, the general category of Muslims and how many do know the, the details of the laws of inheritance in Sharia? There are probably less than one person or even less because people have totally neglected this. People have ignored this altogether. No one pays attention to this anymore. It's like people have forgot about the death. Because if we remember the death, we would remember what happens after the death. Whenever someone dies, if he leaves something behind, these laws have to be applied. If these laws are not applied, then the ones who are ignoring these laws, they are held as criminals. They are held responsible for not applying the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at that time. So people have generally ignored. And this is an important instruction from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Who said, Ta'allamu al-fara'id. Learn the knowledge of inheritance, the law of inheritance. Al-fara'id is used for the law of inheritance. Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu an, he was the one who was an expert in the law of inheritance. He had learned it from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَأَعْلَمُهُمْ بِالْفَرَائِدِ and he became the most knowledgeable among the Sahaba. And almost all Sahaba, they had, they had the, the basic knowledge of inheritance. Some Sahaba had more, but all of them had the basic knowledge. Because Rasulullah had said, تَعَلَّمُ الْفَرَائِفِ Learn the laws of inheritance. Learn the fara'ib. وَعَلِّمُوهُ النَّاسِ And then your responsibility is not over only if you have learned. Once you have learned, it is also your responsibility to teach it to other people. As it is mentioned in Quran, as it is mentioned in the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, obviously no one expects everyone to become the expert. But what everyone should expect of others is to have the basic understanding of the laws of inheritance. What is inheritance and what are the major shares? Who gets what in, in general concept? When you go to in when when you go into specific situations, you will confront situations where there are details. Someone left one son and one daughter and one sister and a, a, a mother and a father. So what will happen? How will the distribution take place? In another case, someone left uh, someone left a mother and a father, no children. In another case, someone left children, no father, no mother. In another case, someone did not leave any mother, any father, but a grandfather or a grandmother. So how will the distribution take place in that case? So those cases are, are, those cases are individual. They will be dealt with on individual basis. But the general and the basic understanding of what the laws, what the laws of inheritance are in Islam should be mandatory. Everyone should should be able to understand. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us in this ayah. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called this knowledge, this science, فَإِنَّهُ نِصْفُ الْعِلْمِ Half of knowledge. In another hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called it one third of knowledge. This hadith is narrated by Abu Hurair radiallahu anhu, recorded by Imam Dar Qutni rahmatullahi alayhi 
in his 